in the bracket elimination of the 2007 Women's U.S. Open. The winner of this match will go to the finals on October 14th. Up first, Marshall, we have the power player, Feldman. Who do you like in this match? Well, this is the toughest one to call. Feldman goes on a bad lane. You know, she's in two different balls right now. I like that strategy, but I just have to go with, with Barnes because of the, the way that she's on the outside playing it straighter. So I think Barnes has the edge, but I believe this is the closest of the three, three uh, semifinals that we've watched. All right. Linda, carefully setting herself, playing that outside line. She pulled it. And she got away with it. Boy, what a confidence builder right there. That ball was left off her hand. You'll be able to see this graphically, Bo, on this replay. That ball hit about five or six at the arrows, and it, it held pocket. Getting a friendly trip. Marshall, that's what they were talking about in between. Chris, her husband, the great player on the men's tour, was saying, Linda, the advantage goes to the player who can go straight. And you saw that, Carolyn Bar Dolan Barrage in the announce booth with us, and that was a strategy for you, wasn't it, Carolyn? Obviously, I think the lanes are, are playing definitely in favor if you can go straight or the angle is much better for Carolyn. And I think Linda has been working on trying to play the lane straighter, so that's definitely going to be a confidence booster for her. It looked like she picked up her speed, too, Marsh. She did, and she really made a great shot in the second frame. And, you know, that's, that's what you have to do in bowling, especially at the highest level. Boy, if you get a break, take advantage of it. Today I'll be using the angular one from Ebonites. Uh, this ball rolls a little bit in the front and lays off in the back. I'll be starting with this ball. If I need a little bit more, I need to move a little bit left, I'll be going to the total envy. And if I need to move even farther in, I'll be going to the game breaker. And this is my spare ball. So I won't be using that today. The first woman to bowl a televised 300 game, Michelle Feldman. Can she maintain the pace? Uh, they're coming out with all guns firing, Bo. <laughs> I'd like to, to tell you that the 300 was against me. <laughs> <laughs> and here is our, I don't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> our first bracket winner of week one, Carolyn Doran Boward. And uh, Carolyn will be in our championship match on October 14th. And uh, we're glad to have you in the announce booth and help us out with the girls. Thank you. It's nice to be back, especially on the lanes and in the booth. That a girl. It's good to have you with us. Both players perfect through two. Look out, look out. A little messenger forehand. Once again, Feldman using a different ball on the left lane and the right lane. So she's going with a ball that has more surface on the left lane to pick up the roll because she was having problems. She left the 2-8 twice on lane 25 in the opening match. She seems to have solved that problem. Yeah, because Michelle does like to go away from it just a little bit. So she needed a little help, got that surface, and it seems like it's worked. Right. Barnes looking comfortable, Bo. All both players perfect. I have a Paradigm Passion with a pinup. It's a lower RG ball, controls the mid lane. I also have a special agent with the pin in the middle of my grip. The earlier roll continuation. And I have my handy dandy spare ball. Former gymnast, Linda. Barnes comes up and tries to keep the pressure on Feldman. Both players perfect. Oh, help me. Oh, she throws that ball and she says, oh, help me. That was right of her target. Even Feldman thought that was kind of humorous. I throw, I throw one there and it strikes. I'm good. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> well, isn't that a confidence builder, builder uh, Carolyn, when you know you got a little area to the right and it comes back? If this slides out for a split, it changes the whole texture of the match. Absolutely. And then you, she missed a little bit left on the right lane and trips the four pin. So she's got a little area both ways. That's definitely a big confidence booster. And having a hand like that's a big confidence booster. But she just, she really just saws on the ball. Got that hard, that good ball speed, 18-8 going down the lane. I always tell her every week when we bowled on tour, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah, well, she can, she can do things to a bowling ball that uh, most men cannot. They, they can't get that kind of power on the ball. I always asked her where her break point was, and then I moved 20 to the right and made sure I hit the same board. Look at her eyes. You look so close to the foul line. You mm -hmm. don't see many players do that anymore. Boy, how about that break? 
In the three weeks of our championship round telecast, this is the best break we've seen anybody get at a critical point. Watch how far that ball's down the lane before it starts breaking back. Just touches the head pin. Looks like it's going to be the two and the seven. There's no seven. There's no two. Wow. Let's see how Linda Barnes reacts to that. Sometimes that can have a negative effect on you, but uh, let's see how she does. That was a good one. Yeah. Wow. Great shot by Barnes and Bo. I know that when I was bowling on tour, if someone got a break like that, it would have affected me. I was not as smart as these ladies are. They, they, just, they just keep on pushing forward. Marshall, I remember a match in St. Louis, you and Mark Roth, both starting with nine in a row. So uh, I know you can stay the pace when you need to, and that's the way this match is. Now, who is going to be the first girl to flinch? I choose not to watch my opponent bowl. That's good. Because, you know, that, but that's how I stay focused, and because I can't control anything they do. I can only control what I do. That's a smart way to bowl. Is that going to hold? Boy, that ball went long. 5-10 gets sawed out. It's six in a row for, for Barnes. She now leads by 10 pins. Smiles oh plenty. Oh, her and hubby. No room for the fate of heart here. It's just uh, either